All right, folks, welcome back. You are watching Mike Zuglin's Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour. We're coming to you live from the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. I'm upstate out of, of AZB TV. I'm going to be joined in the booth very shortly by Mr. Jeff Conway himself. The man, the mouth, and the magic is going to be on board to help us commentate this match. And what match is coming up? Well, here you go. Corey Jules versus Brittany Bryan in a race to nine. Before we get started, we'd like to thank a few of our sponsors. First and foremost, NYC Grind for jumping on board with Upstate Al and AZB TV. Gotham City Technologies, Ron Mason, the IT guy to go to. You have any kind of problems with any device, whether it be a laptop, all the way down to a cell phone, Gotham City Technologies can handle all your problems. Plus, they have building websites and also hosting websites. Live stream news on Facebook, folks. If you're not a member of live stream news and you have accessibility to Facebook, we like to go over there and suggest to be a member. That's the icon you'll see at the top of the page. The main mothership behind everything going on right here besides Mike Zuglin is AZ Billiards. AZBilliards.com. Take a look over at the website. It's all about pool and billiards. It's the world's largest website for pool and billiards. If you want to post anything that's going on in your area, or whether you're running a tournament or doing a live stream, then you have to be a member. Well, guess what? It's free to be a member of azbilliards.com. Thank you, AZ Billiards. Also, would like to thank the world's largest supplier of tablecloth and the best tablecloth in the world, Simonis, and the best pool balls to play with, Aramis. The Kings of Vapor, also the Kings of Billiards. Talking about them, we'll be heading up to Akron, Ohio, where the Kings of Billiards pool room is to bring you this great challenge match between Jason Schur and John Mora in three different dis disciplines of the game, 8-ball, 9-ball, and 10-ball, January 16th, 17th, and 18th. AZB TV and NYC Grind will be moving into there. We also would like to give a big shout out to the TAP League, the best amateur league in North America. Along with Lou Costi Cues, and on the other side of the board, we definitely got to thank Josh Cues, Mike Suglin's main sponsor. Phil Capel, BilliardPress.com, PoolOnTheNet.com, J&J Industries, make sure to check them out. And here's a young lady you definitely want to check out, Diana Hoppy, DianaHoppy.com. She has the DVDs, Earl Strickland, Road Stories 2 is now available. There you see her phone number, plus her email address. We're going to get over to Mike Zuglin, and we'll get more into what Diana Hoppy has, but just keep up to date with AccuStats. They'll be heading down to southern Indiana to bring you the Derby City Classic, the 17th annual one. AccuStats, A-C-C-U-S-T-A-T-S.com. Early bird specials, plus they have the DVDs available from the U.S. Open where Shane Van Boney pulled off a, a three-peat. Go over there, they have a lot of deals going on. We'd like to thank one of our newest sponsors that jumped on board with AZB TV, Universe Clothing. That's universeclothing.com. Thank you, Nick, and the whole crew. And let's listen in to Mike Zuglin. Thank you, Mr. Mike Zuglin, and let's go, Jeff. Two good players up at this table. Yeah, we've got a uh, good matchup in front of us here, Brittany and Corey. Uh, I was trying to say before that she's uh, you know, she beat up on Ernesto in 2010 at the U.S. Open and uh, played really, really well, played some great shots. So she's, she's not frightened of the guys, that's for sure. And it looks like uh, Corey's going to get this. Corey wins it. Yeah, just. This is a beautiful room. I love this. This is a spectator's dream, this room. If you like pool, if, you like, if you're near enough that you could get up here, even though the weather's not very inviting at the moment. It's warm here. And uh, the uh, 
Leeches either side of the row, two rows of tables are just phenomenal. TV got free live stream here if you're sitting at home, you obviously you're using it now. Uh, uh, Jeff, uh, let's bring it right out on the table here. You brought a killer from Manila. A killer from Manila. That's actually yeah. true. That is actually <laughs> true. What is the gentleman's name that you brought down? Well, Ephraim's been telling me for three years to uh, get this guy over. He's, you know, he's the next next thing, and uh, his name is uh, Jeffrey Ignacio. Jeffrey Ignacio. Jeffrey Ignacio. And I believe back. we're going to see the likes of him. How is he doing in the tournament so he, far? Uh, he won 9-5 last night. 10 o'clock. So okay. he slept well last night. So it's all new, you know, it's like you know, everything has to be aligned. You know, the, the food situation, he loves his rice, so we've, we've got that sorted out. So that's one of the main things. Um, I was telling everybody a funny story that you told me uh, the night before last because the weather has been really brutal. It's been 20 and 30 degrees below zero with the wind chill factor, <laughs> and you were coming up. And the cabin inside the car or inside the truck was 74 degrees yeah. at the thermostat. And you said, oh, are you comfortable? And the only thing he could say is, cold, very cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he put it, when he got into his room, he put it up, he put the thermostat up to 85. Oh, God. Thought he was, was going to short circuit the whole hotel system. <laughs> then, he, then he turned it down again and he keeps fiddling with it. But he's, uh, he likes his heat. But they've never seen snow before. Right. So. Corey Duell for the opening break, folks. Upstate Al with Jeff Conway sitting in the booth. And the wing ball, the five ball, found its way right into the bottom corner. And it looks like we might see a 1-6 billion possibly. Yeah, Carom here maybe, I think. Rather than, I don't think he can cut it. I think he'll play Carom. Just got to make sure he gets on the one for the next shot, though. That's the problem. Hundred and twenty eight full field again. Two charts full of players. And had to turn away Shane Van Boning because Shane Van Boning was set to go to China and then he had a problem with his visa. And then uh, he realized he, he couldn't go, so he tried to get in this tournament a little bit late because uh, originally he was gonna go to China, but right. Mike Zuglin said, Shane, I'm real sorry, but we're packed already, full house plus a waiting list. Yeah, uh, that's good that he does that. He sticks to his guns. Well, if you want to play in the next one, it's August 20th through the 23rd. Um, Turning Stone steps up once again. And and that, that what happened there, Al, on that shot. He just uh, he played the carom. And just like I said, he's got to make sure he gets on the one ball. And the one ball came across a little strong and now tucked behind the four. That's the problem with, uh, with that shot is you got to control three different right. balls as you're going to hit it. And uh, But he was thinking about it, so he just got a little heavy there with that shot. Well, he, table speed called him out. You know, he's got to think real good because Brittany Bryan can get out on you. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the, that's the, oh, he's got a nice safety here. That's the problem. The, the quality of the field is pretty good. They're not, they're not all killers. But if you leave the balls out on the table and miss a shot, they'll run them out. So, you know, every competitor in it is capable of running out balls. And there's a few shocks, like last night, uh, Mike DeShane got, uh, Beaten by Eric, uh, Eric Long Name Canadian. I, I can't remember. Eric Hollison. Lefferson or Hollison. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's his, name, his name is as tall as he is. Yeah, he's six foot seven. He's currently the Canadian 10 ball champion. Shot real well. Yeah, you can't leave these guys as, you know, open tables. Rob Jones. Good luck, everyone. Please remember to turn the ringers off on your cell phones. How about this? Gonna get lucky here. She hit it good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite sure that's what the, she was looking for the end result, but uh, worked out good. Well, if anybody can jump with a full cue, it's definitely Corey yeah. Dool would be Alex to do yeah. it. Yeah, Corey's been around the block. There isn't any shot that he doesn't know. Say. Yeah, Ooh. it was almost. That Way was pretty cool first. shot there. The Nearly spun that straight in the pocket. Sunday. 
Was there three three ladies in this this year? Or? I'm not certain, to be honest. Karen Kaur. You got Christine. Brittany, um, Christine. Jennifer Breda. Oh, and Christine, so I know there's definitely four. There's four. Yeah. And it's always good to get the first one under your belt. So if she wins this rack, uh, sort of put a little pressure on Corey. Corey is sponsored by OBQs and uh, FAC Clothing. It's going to China next month. You just told me an interesting point, not uh, pool, pool related, but sports related. China has just shut down all golf courses in China because it's making the people too westernized. How about that? Really? Yeah, that's a biggie, isn't it? Now, was that on Facebook or was that on the news? I don't know, you just told me. I'm, I'm, I'm quoting Corey Jewell. Oh, Corey told you that, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, if Corey told you that, then it's true because Corey's definitely into pool big yeah. time. I mean, uh, golf. golf. Yeah. So it just goes to show you at the slash of a pen, they make a legislation and that's it, no more golf. And it was starting to get big over there as well. A lot of American companies pouring money into it. <coughs> Two tables up, we've got uh, Mika Immanen. Oh, she's picking her way th through this nicely. Just got to get up on the eight. That'll work nicely. I love the way uh, Brittany Bryant Yeah, she doesn't forward. let go of the cue until she's ready. She's very methodical. I, I noticed that. I say I, I did a commentary on a beating, beat, literally beating up on Ernesto at the uh, US Open. I think it was the last year they were at um, Valley Forge. Not Valley Forge, at uh, the convention center. US Open. Well, there we have it. Brittany Bryant draws first blood and makes a quick run of that rack. Corey, Corey Dool actually didn't do anything wrong. He played the billiard. And then uh, he had to play a save off the one. Brittany kicked it and got four. Yeah, he almost, he almost made here. that. That was a good shot. Yeah. Just to let you guys know who's coming up at 2 o'clock. It's going to flash right on the screen right now. Stevie Moore versus Earl Herring. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the next match. Yeah, Stevie got beat pretty bad last night, 9-3. By your uh, killer from Manila, didn't he? No, no. Oh, no. no, no he was on no. the next table. He was on he the next played, table. played um, Joe Dupuy. Yeah. Joey Dupuy. Yeah, I like his game, Joe. Joey's allowed to go off. Yeah, he's feeling good. He's doing good all around in the casino plus uh, in the pool tournament. And when everything goes that way, you know, it lifts a lot of the weight <laughs> off your shoulder. Winner breaks and the loser racks for the opponent. It was different last year. There was a if, if you both agreed to it, you could rack your own. But uh, they got a little abused last year. So people causing lots of ruckus and arguments. Mike stuck by his guns and said he's putting it back to how it was. And that's you just break you rack for the uh, opposition. Correct. Now there was an agreement last night. We noticed that Phil Davis and. Uh, Jason Shaw, I guess, came to an agreement they were racking their own. Well, that's, well, then that's that slipped through the friends. net. That slipped through the net because it's supposed to be not allowed. So if right. Mike, Mike had known about it, I don't think he would have allowed it because he adamantly said it's not going to happen. So, Well, he just doesn't want to have any arguments, that's all. But you know, those two guys know each other for a long <coughs> time. And, of course, there was no arguments and they played their match. I do have a 4 p.m. Uh, match schedule that the tournament board did send down our way. Um, let me take a look at it. Give me a second. Oh, do I want to release the 4 p.m. match yet, Mr. Conway? Wow. <laughs> the one well, that's going to be a killer. <laughs> yes, the 4 p.m. match would be the hitman. Torsten Holman playing Jason Shaw, 4 p.m. 
There you have it. Torsten Please. has a really good record here as well. Jason won the last one. Please get the word out. Torsten um, Holman, Jason Shore at 4 p.m. Yeah. also. <clears throat> so my guy gets second billing to those two. That's for sure. balls are spread out pretty good so she can get good position here get on this two ball she's probably going to run these out well she got lucky there as well stevie moore earl herring two o'clock toasty versus sure there you go yeah <coughs> that's the only toasty thing about this uh, venue it's bloody cold at the minute you feel cold no not here but outside it's uh yeah yeah es eskimo like yeah. Well, you're not from the northeast. Uh, in fact, you're from the, the east, but you like to travel more south. And in the summertime, you're all the way out there at the beach. So, you know, you're a sun lover. So you're saying life's, a, life's, you're saying life's a beach? Is that what you're saying? Well, I like the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany Bryan, all serious right here. When she gets to the table, she's she's got that, that focus like she's into heavy yeah. meditation. As I say that, she misses the three yeah. ball. And remember, he hasn't he hasn't been to the table for a few shots, so you think normally he's going to cut this in, but it's a uh, right. little more degree of difficulty so all of a sudden. Well, he's seen it a few million times this shot. Perfect. Now what's happened here on the seven? Oh, he got through. Six is sitting down in the open. Seven's in the side. I think we can mark this one up to him here, you know? Not yet. Uh, because uh, Cheat the pocket here a little you're bit. You're probably a black cat like myself. <laughs> you might have just jinxed him. <laughs> Slide over All joking aside, he's not a black cat. He's more like a silver or white cat right now. I wish I had a head of hair like yours. I well, like you, that color. Well, yeah, I'll give you the name of the guy who I bought it from. Oh, no, I don't want the name of the guy. That's natural. All right, looks like uh, Corey Duell, like you said, might be uh, tying this ball game just up in one this, apiece. Just roll this forward a tad. And there you have it. 1-1. One, one. Conway says this is, it is one one. Hold your ears, folks. We gotta run this ad. <coughs> We are live, Jeff. Yeah, you were on. Corey, the master of uh, the rack, going up the little gaffs and stuff. and Watch the three and the eight. Three ball, right? Three Split straight in. Almost made, the, almost made the cue ball, but uh, eight's going to get in the way of the one, I think. No, He's I okay. think there's probably room there. He's okay. <laughs> you know what? You know, people in the chat saying, can you turn up the ads a little bit more? We know that they are loud, and uh, we apologize. But uh, those are the ads. Those are the sponsors on board. Uh, OBQs is also on board with Mike Zuglin. <coughs> and, of course, Lucas is on board with AZB TV. Upstate Al keeping us on the road. Corey is sponsored by OBQs. You yes. might, see him, might see him sending the one ball back downtown here, I think. Well, he, he might try it. I don't know. See, I mean, he knows. 
Yeah. I think Might leave a window. Maybe. No, I think he's got her in there. You see better from where you're sitting. Well, I can, I can see he's got her right on the monitor. Yeah. yeah. Brittany might be looking to kick two rails back out of this or spin it and one rail. And it's almost on the cushion there, so it's a little awkward to do a masse. Eh? Oh. And this is what the venue looked like just as they were getting it ready. This was uh, Wednesday. It wasn't quite finished. And you can see the bleaches up the side there, which is... Uh, yeah. And a, and a walkway down the middle with chairs, which are not shown in that view. Right, they were just underway. And there's Mr. Mike Zuglin holding court up at the top. That's at the beginning of the arena. Yeah, she's thrown, isn't it, really? She's yes. thrown. Right up on the top of those banners is where he has his makeshift office while he's here. Oh, this is tough Ooh, the way she's yeah, going. Yeah, she might clip the edge of this uh, four. Yeah, there you go. That was a good call, Jeffrey. Nice call, Jeff. I didn't think she could get through there. I don't know what she was thinking there. To the geometry didn't work out. Well, it actually could have been played. And look at Corey Duell going after the one nine yeah. combination here. This is going to be. Yeah, a I quick think the game. Eth the ethics committee will have a world knew about this. This is supposed to run him out, Corey. Well, the nine's right there. Why yeah. not take advantage no, of, course, of it? Of course, I'm joking. Twenty one Jump Street. Now he's starting to get away now. Two one, and I think we're going to see more of the same. So. There you have it, Road Stories 2. It's available. Oh, I, I, just interrupting, I love Diana Hoppy. Love the girl to death. There she is. She's a sweetheart. Sure She's is. a really lovely lady. And let's run a little Lacasse at since we're <coughs> the other one. So hold your eardrums, folks. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with the revolutionary X-Shock stampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters. Five ball. Five and a four. Five ball. is favorite, I think. Yeah, he's got that down to a fine art, so uh, he's on the. That's the good part. It's not just making the ball; it's ending up on that one and knowing where you're putting that. And this is uh, pretty consistent now, putting it on the top rail. Key to the break is definitely have a shot on the uh, yeah, such next an ball and rotation. Yeah, when you, when you see guys break and make a ball, and then there's, they're pushing all the time because they they don't know where the cue ball is going, you know. Well, when you can get find that sweet <coughs> spot, you know if. if the difficulty of finding that sweet spot. But players like Corey and Jason and everybody, they come down here and they practice on this table <coughs> prior to us going live because uh, eventually, you know, the cream rises to the top and and you, they're going to see the likes of this table. So, see And sweet. then word of mouth also see from how the sweetly, players. See how sweetly he drew that ball back. He, like Almost no effort. It was just basically just through the ball. Beautiful. Well, he's got it on a piece of string at the moment. Well, folks, it's uh, Friday on the uh, East Coast here, and if you're in the area, come on by and pay us a visit. Say hello to the booth, and uh, you can watch some pool free admission to come into the arena, and you got your world champions <coughs> right here. Yeah, there's a good complement of uh, champs in this tournament. Yes, the gentleman at the table, Mr. Corey Duell, snapping off the U.S. Open from the B side. 13 matches he had to win to snap it off. And he come back from the loser side to win the U.S. Open. 13 matches. This is him right here at the Two, table. 2001, I think that was. Someone will Google it for us, I'm sure. Well, it's okay. We know he's done it. <coughs> Corey Duell looking to spread this lead a little bit further after the 1-9 combination in the last game does. It's 3-1. to one. Yeah, that was a walk in the park, that one. He's got that breakdown. Guys, AZ Billiards can't promote them enough. They're doing a lot for the game. <coughs> um, just go over to azbilliards.com. Take a look around the website. There's plenty to read, plenty of articles. 
browse the forums, find out what's going on in your local area. If you want to post something uh, in your local area, then you got to become a member. And the good news is membership is free. Go to azbilliards.com. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little orange button where you can join. Kings of Billiards, Kings of Vapor, both companies owned by the same crew up in Akron, Ohio, Chad Bowling. That's where AZB TV and NYC Grind are heading next. We're right here, Jason Char versus John Moore in a challenge match. The Sharks move into Ohio. We'll be there to cover that event. Right now, it's back to the action as Corey Tool says we're ready to roll. It's three to one here in this match. And AZB, uh, biggest pool site in the world. So yes, absolutely. Great articles. In fact, the gentleman sitting to uh, the navigating seat right now, Mr. Conway, does some writing up uh, on AZ Billiards. Also, you'll yeah. see his signature at the bottom. Yeah, no, it was a privilege, privilege to write for him. Tell you the truth. When you when you write for someone and you know it's getting so much airing and so many people are looking at it, it's it's, it's, sure. an, it's an honor, you know. Yeah, well, you do some good writing and you, you definitely get down to detail. It's without a doubt, and then I'm expecting something from this event from you, so make sure you're taking notes. Yeah, well, I don't know how to spell owl. It's such a long word. <laughs> I can make it easier. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's all right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was just thinking if word spell check would pick it up or not. Spell check. <laughs> well, you know, from here it may look like he might play this combination, a five nine combination. Unless he elects to go rail first and there's a short window on the left side. He's looking to play he's in this look, combination. He's looking at it. See I like going rail first off this four, but that window on the left hand side that's, that's, really that's dangerous. See, he's, he's actually going to play right the 5-9. Yeah. And that's not far off line either. That's, he, he's only got to hit that just a little to the left. This is not a gimme. No gimme. No, absolutely not. But it is now. And Corey makes it look like a gimme. 41st Street. Corey Duell. And there's not, while he's breaking like that, there's not much uh, Brittany can do about it, to be honest. If he makes that wing ball all the time and gets position on the one, he's in charge because even if he d can't make the one, he still can send it downtown and he's in the position to win. Give him a loose rack, Brittany. Give him a loose rack. Oh, that's not going to work. Corey Duell doesn't take no prisoners. Eagle eye. You could be e a female. He's still going to check the Eagle rack. Eagle eye. There he is. Uh, and actually, he utilizes the gaps because even if he sees a little gap, he probably won't tell them to tuck it up. He'll use it to his advantage by coming in from the other side or something. You know, they're, they're pretty smart with this racking. Right. <clears throat> well, the two ball, watch it. He's been making it. Wired. Oh, not that time. Cue Ooh. ball was wired, and when the cue ball goes in the drink, <coughs> Snooker's motto is Kojak in the subway. Telly Savali. I got his I got his autograph in the city. In, Did you really? Uh, yeah. He had ago. a restaurant in the city, didn't he? No, I don't know. Well, that yeah, he did at one point, but he was driving a bad. I'll never forget it. He liked his drink, and I think it's long enough ago that he's not going to come back and moan at me about it. He liked his drink, and there was a restaurant on uh, Irving Place. And I was on my way back from um, Julian's, when Julian's was there on 14th Street. Right. And uh, I was going to my apartment, and um, and he was staggering down the steps, and I said, I need a piece of paper, I need your autograph. And he, he goes to his car and gets me a piece of paper and gives me his autograph. Why didn't you just pull out like a $5 bill or something, or a $20 no, bill? No, I didn't time. have $5 bills in those days. <laughs> <laughs> or a single. <laughs> and he had, a, and he had an ex cop car. He had an ex cop car, like a Plymouth Fury or something. It was and really, he was, and he was as drunk as a skunk, and he just drove off. And I said to myself, "There in a, there's not a cop in the city that's going to arrest him." You know what I mean? He busts your chops with his lollipops. Brittany got fortunate to get the cue ball back there, and she waves a hand and to tell Corey, "Sorry about that. I got to roll." But uh, she was only sorry until she got to a yeah, seat. Well, but she's more sorry about missing she, that if ball. If she hadn't got lucky behind that three, this would be another 
immediate run out. So. Corey Duell steps away, so uh, I think we got a player's timeout. It's an emergency timeout, so we're going to elect to keep the front view on so you can enjoy <coughs> Danny in the background. He's playing John Schmidt out of New York. John, John Schmidt can play. He's, uh, he's oh had yeah. some high finishes here. Had some tussles as well. I remember the year he, well, many years ago, he had a tussle with uh, Raj, and the uh, there was a ball, two balls were wedged in the end pocket. And they were massing out of the pocket to come back and go around the other ball and in a circle. And they had four, four or five shots at it, and everyone in the room ended up standing over by that table watching them. It was absolutely amazing. I think John just uh, scratched there. Didn't look very happy on table two. <coughs> Mika's sitting in his chair, so his opponent is at the table. On the third table. Spectator-wise, though, Al, this is this is the best event yes. of any of the events I go to, and I go to yes. all of them. This yes. is, you can wander around, you can sit up, you know, there's tables up in the middle either side, there's chairs, you can... You know, where else can you sit that close? You, you know, you, you, you go to a basketball game. What, what Jeff is talking about, you see all these tables in the middle mm. aisle here? I'm going to pan over there as Corey is still. Yeah, the other side of the, the fence there. Yeah, you sit there and you, you can you just sit. You see these tables and then you got full tables on the opposite mm. side. This is not only for VIP. You don't have to pay to sit that close to watch your favorite and there's player. And there's always plenty of room. Plenty of room until we get matches that are, you know, as we start getting down, like tomorrow, you'll start seeing this whole aisle full of people four and five rows deep standing up besides the one sitting yeah. down. So you can elect to walk right in. It's free admission. Come right down the aisle and sit right in front of the pool table that you enjoy watching, your favorite player. And I can see two uh, pedestrians coming in the front door right now who actually won the raffle cue stick two years in a row. <laughs> and it's, I see them every year. They're like icons. Uh, what had happened was they won a uh, Josh. It's a $1,500 cue uh, valued at $1,500. And uh, they won one, and they gave it to their son. And then their daughter said, well, what what'd you get him the stick for? I want to play pool, too. And the following year, they come back and tried the raffle again, and they won one for the daughter. So wow. they got three thousand dollars worth of key sticks for God knows what they spent on raffle tickets. And there you see the link on you just put in there. That is the link right to the brackets, and the live scoring of every match that's going on around the room, courtesy and provided by AZ Billiards. Yeah, Mr. Mike Howard and Jerry Yeah, we got Mike sitting up there all day. Yeah, Look, and he can see, of course, he can see all the Thank beads. Thank you, Anya. Yeah. He can see all the beads. Tell you a funny story when we were when uh, when the uh, U.S. Open was at the uh, convention center there in um, Chesapeake. Right. Yeah, I remember they were those using days. the balls. Sim what the same as they're using here, and it was the four and the five, a very similar color, but the four is like a little different color. And at a distance, the table was so far away, I couldn't tell the color difference. So right. Mike sat next to me, scouting the scores, and I would just tap him on the shoulder. And I would point away or near, and he right. knew that I wanted to know where was the well, four. Well, you can tell, can't you? No, I can. I can hear because we're close enough, but I couldn't oh, you tell. Can't hear? It was far enough. I was so far away that you couldn't tell. And I mean, uh, without looking at the table, looking at yeah, the I can see on here. Yeah, okay. I can see, but then then I couldn't. The way Technology the come a long way. The monitors, and it's only going to get better. And I would yeah. tap him on the shoulder, and I would just point at the screen, and he'd he'd, he'd signal to me like either towards me or further away <laughs> to tell me where the four was because once i knew where the four was i was okay but i couldn't open my mouth before i knew it's funny i was talking to him about that last night we were laughing about it corey sort of hitting a z shot he's going to try to hit the four from the short side of the long rail where and he's going to get a safety out of it look at this i mean the two ball hit it good. oh how good is that Hit it as good as you can hit it. Brittany Bryant's going to be faced with a two-rail kick into the two. 
I think she's better off going off the left side behind the six and then I think she's, the I think she's gonna go she looks like she's gonna go right of the eight Risky. and come off the bottom rail. Risky. Well, at least she won't scratch off the back of the two if she goes that way because the four's in the way. Well, that's always a possibility. Uh, if she hits it too <coughs> solid, she can go in a drink, but I think this way here is too dangerous. See, she's looking to spin in front of the five, not, I mean, behind the five, not uh, in front of it. Yeah, she's well, going to come guess, off the top cushion. She's going to... Don't be surprised if she pockets this two ball in the side pocket and winds up getting safe on the three. We've seen them kick. Oh, she's just going one pocket. row. No, two rows. And uh, she just sold out of the farm there, I think. Well, that's why it's dangerous. <coughs> could have worked that good if she would have hit it a little more solid. Could have worked that great. And um, and we just want to make the announcement that we are simulcasting this live stream right into Canada with Tino Balberry and the crews up there in Canada, and they are commentating in French up there, and we're looking to get China on board also in the future. And then, of course, Japan and everybody else that wants to get involved, please get in touch with us. We'd love to... Uh, do as much as we can for the game. Nice. He's looking to put it behind the four ball. Didn't, yeah, it didn't spin it that much, but this is as good as anything. So yeah. I wouldn't want to be shooting this for the cheese. Jacked up over the four. It's probably going you know, to come off the right hand, right hand side of the uh, two and just try and snick that back in line with the nine, probably. That's what she's looking at now. She just wants to thin the paint on this one. Charlie, she cuts it too thin, she might scratch up town, so see what happens. I say up town, which of course is a sort of a pet Clark reference, but people do get a little annoyed at me saying that, but I've been saying it for so many years. I, I like this right here, what she's shooting instead of shooting over the four. I like this. She has some cue balls she can cue on. She might hit this thicker than she wants. Oh my God, that was hit the tip. Did that hit the tip of the pocket there, did it? No. Hit the nine ball. No, I mean, on the way down, did she catch the no. side center pocket? Nope. Right wow, off the rail. She's way the off nine. on that one then. She's put the balls more in the open for Corey, so uh, we can lick in his lips right now. Score is 4 1 at present. Seems to be 5 1, I believe. Race to nine. Well, he's got some work to do here. Two to the three, and then he's got to go back up for the four. And then from there on in, the well, work is, you know, in the middle of the table. Well, at but least he has ball in hand, so he can sort of at least pick this, his spot. Yeah, but for he still the, has to work. Yeah, it's but it's, if it was wherever it was, you know, if it's stuck on the top cushion or something, then he's got problems. And that, folks, is a lesson right there. See how easy he made that look? A little bit straighter than he wanted. <coughs> He just spun that down there, didn't he? He hardly hit that. Yeah, he's really not happy with it. And I have to escape here. Looks like a power drawer up between yeah. these six, eight. Mm. That's a nice shot. It's got enough of an angle. He'll follow this around, I think. Mm, didn't like that. Lost some momentum on that one. Oh, he made light work of that one, didn't he? 
and well, that Corey position. Well, Corey known for his banking abilities. Yeah. Besides just playing regular street he's pool also, he, at any given time, Corey can get on a table. He, he's done it many a time and just run 100, 150 balls. Probably just uh, a little angle left. Okay, spin out two rails right back for the eight. Depends on how he wants to hit it. Wow. 5 1. Right now it's 4 to 1, but uh, you could be right. And this is with his jacket on, folks. Yeah, well, you know what? Frankie Hernandez uh, played in one of the events that I streamed down in Castle Billiards. Uh, first of all, he was late because he had a lot of traffic coming up from New York City. And then when yeah, he... Yeah, but he's a special person, you know that. No, no, no he, he, he was uh, caught in traffic. In any case, Frankie, a uh, great player out of New York City, um, loses his first match from the gate hill hill he said that scott simonetti shocked him he made an announcement just as frankie was down shooting nine ball and frankie missed it but in any case he lost that one comes all the way through the field like 11 games on the loser's side to face jason shore in the finals and that went like i think it was hill hill what a great match i mean frankie just had a flashback talking about Corey's jacket right frankie never took his jacket off all weekend long well it was good luck probably yeah he shot jam up let me tell you you know, there's been a lot of games going on where people are spotting Frankie some crazy spots. Don't let Frankie get back in gear. Then you can you can step up and bet the well, house. He's been, he's been there, done that. He's been around yeah, a long while. Absolutely. He's a working man now. But he puts in a little more time, give him a few months. You can come with those spots again. See that? Look at that again. See that one, the cue ball and the one ball? Yeah. Yeah. You got to play the shot. Best I ever saw that done was in uh, hard times two years ago. Uh, a collo was soft, soft breaking. Well, Corey started that initially. Yeah, and he's soft breaking, and he was leaving the, the cue ball and the one ball within about two or three degrees of angle each time he left it on the top rail, and the two ball nearly went in the side, and one went in the bottom. It was like it was a joke. It was like. Anybody could run it out. You know what I mean? It was like they make it look easy, don't they? Oh. And then you get up there at the pool room and get your cue out and try it. He was playing Jason, and Jason never got out of his chair. Billy and Cardona was doing the commentary, and he was r raving about how wrong it was. This is crazy. This is they can't do this. It's not Paul. In case you're interested in watching the Frankie Hernandez-Jason Shaw sure, match, I believe I put it on YouTube already. It was a great match. And he's working his way through this rack, and poor Brittany's just sitting there. Not much you can do about this. Well, you know, that's why they call it the, uh, the freezer. You know, you sit there, and there's, like you said, the only thing you could do is just sit there and watch and, and hope your opponent makes and an smile error. smile and make out you're enjoying it. But uh, Like this shot right here, this is one of the shots. She's praying he's going to hit the eight and scratch. And right. She's just praying he misses it, never mind scratches. <laughs> Shot. He's going to get lucky here behind the seven, maybe. No. Come on, gal. Show us what you got. She's got it. This she is your chance. bring it to the table. But again, she's been sat there a long time without shooting, so uh, has a little, has, does have an effect. It's not her first rodeo. You know, she's been a junior champ, and she's been a seven-time champ in oh, Canada. She's, she's good, I told you. She, 
Oh, look at that. That's nerves there. She knows she should have made that. Now she's going to sit down and say, I might not get back at the table now. Well, you, you know, you're sitting there. You're sitting there for a little while, and uh, your arm kind of tightens up uh, as Corey and stepped you know away from the table before she was exer right. exercising uh, and, her and shoulder. And you know how important it is. That's the thing. She knows I've, I've got to make this, and just those words going through the back of your head is... Oh. Say thank you, Corey. Well, oh, 47 yard line. Straight pool player you're talking about here. A little harder than he wanted though. Doesn't go past the nine, so he's gonna have to cut it. He used the nine to draw off of. Oh, he went in front of it and played the inside of it. Nice shot. Yeah, that worked out real good. There you have it, 61, my age. So you, you don't look a day under 65. 61, are you serious? I wish I was 61. Jesus well, I'm Christ. 63. I lie a lot. I want to, you know, I got to look forward to something. <laughs> right? <laughs> Talking about looking forward to something. All I know is <laughs> the weeks go by so quick that it's scary. Yeah, it is. The years go by. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, the year is made up of weeks. I don't know whether you know that. Or not. <laughs> well, we don't want to go into, <laughs> we don't want to go that deep. <laughs> there you have it. Looking forward to something. Look forward to this. Three nights of action. Eight ball, nine ball, and ten ball. I'll be heading up to uh, Akron, Ohio, to the Kings of Billiards, and these two champions will be facing off. And John Mora can really play good. I'm, I'm very impressed with his game. He's come on over the years. He's really become one of the better players around. How about the likes of these, you gentlemen, up here? Those Diana Hoppy uh, DVDs. This is not public yet. They're all the there. Road Scholars, too. Corey Duell set the break <coughs> here. Game eight. Leads this match six to one. Is that corner ball again? Somebody we got to get on camera here. You know why? Because uh, he's always behind the camera. Oh, he, he runs like a dog. He runs away like a dog. He didn't even know we were trying to snoop on him, but we'll keep the camera out this way just for a little while, and we'll get back to the match. Uh, there's the two folks. See that gentleman with the long beard? Mm -hmm. the, that's the couple that won the oh, I thought that two was years Father in a row. Christmas. No, that's his dress-up for the wintertime. <coughs> Corey Jewell on the one ball, just spin around the two and played in the same pocket. And he's getting close to the end. It's race to nine. <coughs> oh, he underdid this one here. He wanted to play it in the side pocket. Still makeable. But definitely got out of line. And as Jeff Conway steps back in. You're in. I muted you because you were coughing. But you're good. How'd he hit it? Play this a long follow, but he's got, just got to be careful of the side pocket. Whoa. There's the two folks right there. Wave high. <laughs> I was telling you to wave high. 
Sorry about that. Got carried away. A couple of folks wanted to say hello. All right, Corey Duell. <laughs> Seven to one. Almost swing the, the pan back around. I'm sure Brittany's not very happy about this, but she there's no you know, she's just not been able to showcase her talents and that's it. That's well, it's hard to do when you got, you're playing against uh, Corey Duell, and it could have just went the other way also. Mm -hmm. I've seen Brittany get on a roll where she was untouchable. You know, it didn't matter who she was playing, when she kept you in your seat. Um, and then you could do just like Corey's doing all but, right now. But like we're witnessing, unfortunately, the longer you're away from the table, it, it does have an effect, no question. You almost want to get back into the game too hard, and that's when you go miss. Well, she's been in this position. This is not her first rodeo. So she knows what she's up against. They have rodeos in Canada? All over the world. Corey Duell set the break. Game nine leads 7-1. to one. We're coming to you live from the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. I'm upstate out with AZB TV and Jeff Conway sitting in the booth. Yeah, and he makes those two balls in that pocket this time, but doesn't get so good on the one. He's going to push here, I think. Probably to our left. Well, I'll tell you what, as many combination mm -hmm. shots as Corey's been playing, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets to the three ball first that he does play the three nine yeah. combination and then he shape a four. Yeah. See, it's it's going to spin this off. It's going to spin this off a top cushion here. Oh, that didn't well, work out. Let's now, see come what on. Happens here now. Come on, Brittany. Let's go. Does Brittany play the one to the three nine combination, or does she elect to run out since the three does have a pocket right in the bottom right hand corner? Yeah, they're, they're tough, though, when they're close together, the balls. Yes, it's, it's hard to guess that angle. You know, cutting the three across the nine you're talking about. Eventually. She's going forward. She's going to put the three into the corner pocket. She's going to go for the run out. Right. And that's She's the way to go. Win. Yeah. And she ran that too far, see? Still make a ball, and she can go three rails around for the four mm. ball. She's okay. She's got the mad factor. She's a little mad at herself now. She's saying all I needed to do was put it there, and it's over here. Speed quarter out. This is no easy shot. I think she'd be better off to play this across and put it down by the five. I didn't hit it hard enough. Right idea. She nearly listened to me, Al. Well, if you would have spoke a little louder, she would have heard you. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Good job I have a soft, uh, dulcet tone to my voice. You're biting your tongue there, aren't you? No, I thought I just seen uh, some kind of a bird or something, uh, like an orb, floating <laughs> or, like floating around in the room here, and it happens to be a spot on my reading glasses. <laughs> Look at I'm this looking. safety. Look at this. Oh, hey, hey. No. Oh, yeah, you're back in it. Let's go. What you need to run? At least run an eight pack. Come on. Well, you know, at this point, you take one at a time. One ball at a time and one game at a time. <laughs> There's a lot of people watching this match. I'm just looking around. There's yeah. more people seated down this end. And the wives, the wives of the players like to watch the girls play. So a little affiliation there, I guess. Well, there's a lot of Canadian players that come down uh, with a lot of their friends <coughs> that travel to uh, watch this great venue. And Brittany, playing out of Canada. <coughs> you know, so they tend to migrate down this way since Brittany is playing. They know her from winning so many tournaments up there. Mm -hmm. Just 
got a little roll on this. I mean, she could cut it, but she's going to be... No, she's, what's she doing? She might be zigzagging this across the, for a safety here, or is she cutting it? She's playing safe. No, Ooh. She cut it in. How do you like it now, she says to Corey. I'll slow down. Just nice little bounce, and this is going to work out she pretty says, good. Mr. Duel, how do you like that shot? And Corey was very impressed. I, I liked the way uh, he nodded his head. No, he fell asleep. Not that. even close. His eyes are wide open, sweating the shot. All right, I'm gonna, we're going to give her this one. No jinxes. Yeah, I'm giving it. This is it. Just run forward a little bit for the eight, run down for the nine. Oh, that surprised me. Thought she was going to run it forward. It looked, maybe the angle was different than it looked like. That's better. 7 2 looks much better. Come on. There you have it. 7 or 2. Not old one until it's over. Well, the fat pool player said. That's right. And this is not over. This is coming up January 23rd through the 31st down in southern Indiana. Yeah, I'll be Acting down. Stats and Jeff Conway, the whole crew are heading down that way. I'll be down there for that. I love that event. For the 17th annual Derby City Classic. Make sure to check out AccuStats.com just like you see it on the bottom of that photo. AccuStats.com. They have early bird specials. Not only that, I believe I was looking at the news last night, and they have, they're running specials on the DVDs of the last U.S. Open, the one that Shane Van Boning three-peated in. Make sure to go over to AccuStats.com. And three-peated, but also had one before it, so he's yeah. actually won four, and that right. record of Earl's is looking like it's going to go out the window pretty soon. There was a time when no one thought that Earl's five wins could be beaten, and... All of a sudden, Shane's got four, so... Well, J yeah. Shane's got the three-peat, and nobody else done. Right. So. No, no, but he has four U.S. Open wins. Right, and Earl has so five. He's so yeah. close now that he's definitely in the in the books to uh, be beaten. Or is it six? Earl has six and five World Championships and six U.S. Open wins? No, five U.S. Open wins. And six World Championships, or yeah, five yeah, and five? Yeah, okay. five, yeah. Okay. Earl the Pearl. One of the greatest that's players not to ever. That's not to say Earl couldn't get another one because he's playing pretty good now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, Gets a never good, count Earl out. Just needing a good draw. On the US Open, you need a good draw. That's what you need. Earl just has to bring his A game to the table, and it doesn't matter who he's in the bracket with. He's playing his game. Uh, he can beat anybody in the world. <coughs> doesn't matter who they are. Well, he's been there, done that, that's for sure. One of the most feared players on earth. Well, he's going to get lucky here. What's this? How about that? It's not your day, Brittany. It's annoying when that happens, though, when you're really wanting to get back in the game and show someone what you can do. And that well, not only that, just to do it, you know. And your, your opponent's got seven, and you step up to the table, and this is what you're looking for. I mean, looking at. Yeah, she, well, she's looking at carrying it off the three into the side pocket, what she should be doing. But that's a tough order. You've got to hit it perfect. Let's see if she can do it. There he is, folks. You see that green hat? That's the guy we like to get on camera occasionally. That's Jerry, Jerry Tarantola. Too. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry Tarantola from NYC Grind. Last night, he had, he had their old. Nice shot. That was close. Still a good shot and good hit. That's Jerry T from NYC Grind. He had matching Arm trousers. He had matching yes. trousers with his hat last night. Got his video camera in hand, getting footage. Yeah, he's got no film in it, though. He just runs around with it. Yeah, <laughs> like a mosquito, he flies around. You see him he's here, got and no, then you He's got no him. film in the bloody thing. <laughs> there he is. 
Well, you should, you See, we'd like to get Jerry on camera because he's usually behind the camera. He doesn't think we get him, but we got footage on Jerry you, you running match, around you doing got all the green. you got all the greeny, yellow I'm stuff doing a, on. I'm doing a commercial for Highlighter. Yeah, so it looks like it. Beautiful. Watch the cue ball behind the seven or between them. No, it didn't work out. Leaked out, and Brittany no. has a shot. Now she's going to try and slow roll this. Got to, I guess. Sometimes she thinks she wants to go all the way back up and down. Beautiful diamond tables. I had to get my guy. Um, never played on a diamond table before because in the Philippines they don't have diamond tables. And they certainly don't have them in uh, Taiwan and places like that. So I took him to a room to play on the diamonds. Good shot. No, I'm going to work. What room? Uh, Mr. Q and I should have. Oh, okay. I should have got reported to the to the uh, tribunal that is against putting kids up chimneys to get soot because I had the guy playing seven and a half hours after a 24-hour flight. <laughs> that was rather cruel, I thought. But Hold on, Jeff. I'm caught up down here. But I didn't want him coming up here not, not knowing how to, they respond. So. Oh, he's got lucky there again. Got lucky there. He's got to be careful here because you don't want to scratch off the side of this. I think he's going to come around off the bottom rail behind it. He's going to got to come around behind it. Don't think he dare go off the side of it. It looks like he is though. Don't well, like Corey's this. a one-pocket player. Uh, One pocket. Well, there you go. And position. How about that? Next match coming up, folks. Stevie Moore versus Earl Herring. That's our 2 p.m. match. Right now, if you're just joining us, you're watching Corey Du playing Brittany Bryant. I'm Upstate Owl with AZB TV and Sitting in the booth with the man, the mouth, the magic, Mr. Jeff Conway. Well, the mouth. I'm not sure well, that I like we that. we got to give you a nickname. Well, what's your nickname? The, uh, well, my my, web, my email address is Jeff Pool Junkie, so I guess I'm Pool okay. I'm a Pool Junkie. All I'm right, pool, Jeff. I am a Pool Junkie. But. All right, Jeff, the Pool Junkie Conway. It's got a ring to it. Not diamond, but it's got a ring. What a nice shot. There's only going to be one off the win here. Just like Mika, Mika win. The way he's strutting around, yeah, I would imagine. I think so. Rob Sias is in a match right now. Uh, it's five to four in favor of Tom McGonigal over Rob Sias. You could find all the scores live updating right on azbilliards.com. On the front page, you can actually click the front page. Uh, Tom, a story Tom. that says uh, Turning Stone Casino live. You just click it, and it'll bring you right over to the brackets and the live score. Tom McGonigal is retired now. He can still play. Yes, without a doubt. And uh, we know Corey can play. He's looking to go up on the hill here. Corey Duell on the hill. Brittany Bryan at two. Let's see if we can get one more. Come on. One more, Brittany.
Corey Dool bringing us into game 11 with this break. Two ball this time. The wing flew right into the corner pocket and going to wind up. Look at this. The dress. Uh, nice to come to the table with the one one sitting in front of the pocket like that. Paul dressed up, ready to go out. Yeah. So we see Paul Smith of Diamond standing there. <laughs> We'd love having him in the booth. He's got so many road stories. I you don't talk sitting? to him now because he looks looks like Father Christmas. I told him he's got to shave. That's the... <laughs> That's the winter outfit that he has yeah. on. <laughs> you should talk. Yeah, I know. That's why I was joking with him. <laughs> I put my hand over my chin and I said, what's with that crap around your face? He goes, what about you? I've got a good reason. Ran out of razor blades. Thank you, Troy, for posting those links in there. Thanks, pal. Appreciate it. Those are some of the sponsors on board. <laughs> yeah, Paul's a nice guy. One he of, sure one is. One of the nice... You. One of the nice guys in Portland. Well, the, the question was, are all diamond tables solid state? A, sl a solid slate, not state. Well, as far as I know, every that, that's their gimmick is the, the self-adjustment and the, not self-adjustment, but all the adjusting points on the table. And it's a one-piece slate, right. one and a quarter thick. Right. Uh, Actually, so one and three sixteenths. So we had a pull Paul in to find out and the, and the answer is no not all diamond tables are one piece slate uh, the ones that they do move around from tournament to tournament uh, are the solid slate right. you know, one piece I know, I know they last a long time you know why you know why because they're diamond because diamonds are forever that's right thought I'd get a little James Bond joke in there Was that Sean Connery in that one? First, he was the first. Anything that has to do with English or something, you're right on top of it. Very knowledgeable. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was born in Brooklyn, but I try, I try <laughs> to keep tabs with the English side of things. <laughs> what a beautiful Look stroke. Look at this. Right there. Just well, I'll tell you he's what. He's relentless. He's not I'm laying I'm going to go out on a limb here. No, don't. Don't, because he'll. Yeah. Tip will come off here. Don't be do that. That's the kind of luck I give people. That's the bit that always makes, That's the bit that always gets me. They, you know, you well, you know, wherever he put that cue ball, he's going to make it. But they also make sure they put it dead in line. Corey Dool defeats Brittany Bryant. <coughs> she is not eliminated out of the tournament by far. I well, believe she just moves over to the B side. I'm not really sure. You can find the brackets on azbilliards.com, right on the front page. And Corey, uh, sorry, Corey must be feeling pretty good about his performance there, breaking well. Well, we're going to end this recording. We'd like to thank Jeff, Pool Junkie Conway, for sitting in the booth with Upstate Al. No, we're I going like to be right back with another match. The mouth. I like the mouth.